Well, I'm being told that I really should not do that. How sad. Okay, I'll play h5. g5 is playable too, but h5 and g5 looks fine. Yeah, it's called now. Get on the phone and be like, yo, where's my money? Where's my money? Don't make me go all Stewie Griffin on you, right? That's, that, that's what I should say. Is that Nihonga behind you? No, that is uh, Gin Kakuji, the Golden Pavilion in Kyoto, Japan. Drink water, please. I have my water right here. Um, just good old Zephyr Hills, Florida spring water. Okay, so, okay, so let's see. So I'm going to try to play something a bit slower here. I could have played E4, but I know Bruzon likes to play E5 stuff, and I'm not really in the mood to play Berlin's right now. Um, let's just play G3. Let's see what he wants to do. I will go 4 for 4 today. Kind of hard, considering I played a, a complete 11 in the first game and lost. But 2.5 would be fine, 3 would be fine. My plumbing is not fixed, by the way, you guys. So somebody can tell me how insurance works, because apparently I'm very stupid or something. But from what I've heard is that, like, insurance, when you, use, when you file an insurance claim, they're supposed to, like, they come, the adjuster comes, they look at the damage, whatever, and then they write you a check, because you, you obviously have to pay more of a premium, or you have to, you have to pay some kind of amount to your, uh, through the mortgage company or to the insurance company, depending if you have a mortgage or not. Um, but it's now been like four days and I haven't gotten an email or anything back and I was told that what they're gonna do is they're essentially gonna like not they're gonna basically try to delay paying out as long as they can or something so I don't know if anybody here in chat knows more than I do but is that actually correct or not insurance is everything to not pay so what does that mean so okay so you guys obviously understand this better than me so what does that mean? Tell me what that means since I've never had to file an insurance claim before. What is my insurance company? It's, it's like a heritage insurance, I think, or something. I mean, my claim is small, though. I mean, my claim is like 3500 I mean, I think the claim is probably a few thousand dollars. It's not anything super expensive. Okay, let's see. I can play e5 here. I can also play like queen e2 and rook d1. Um, or I can play rook e1. Let's just play e5. Okay, so they're going to hold as long as they can. But what does that mean? Because I mean... Because don't they have to pay somebody or am I crazy? Okay, so I need to be more aggressive. Uh, what does that mean, you guys? Because I, I don't know what it means. So how do I know if they're delaying or not? I guess is the real question. I mean, because that's what I really need to know. If I play rookie one, he goes rookie five, by the way, and hits the pawn. So I need to play queen e2, knight c4. It means you have to call them frequently and demand action and payment. Okay, thank you, Sad Watermelon, for the nine months. Okay, so I basically need to get on my phone after this ends and, and get all angry. Oh, uh, that's lovely. That's lovely. Okay, so I just need to basically be, be a total dick. Okay. Okay, lovely. So I need to get on the phone and yell. That's, that's one of my specialties, so it shouldn't be too hard to do that. So I'm going to get on the phone and yell. Okay, lovely. Stream the phone call? Okay. Uh, I don't think I can do that. Isn't that illegal? Because that would mean that I'm taping a phone call, right? Or maybe not. Maybe if only you guys hear the phone call, it's probably fine. But again, um, but um, but yeah, it's like it's one of those things. Yeah. Oh shoot, he's got bishop a6 or something. But then I have b4, or bishop d2, or something. I don't know. I should play queen e4 first. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, he plays bishop b7. I mean, I can play knight e4 and bishop f4. I can also play like knight c4 maybe and bishop g5. But yeah, that's, that's, yeah, I'm pretty sure if you do that, I think that's illegal, isn't it? Maybe it's, it's maybe it's not illegal because you can't hear the other end. Um, re recording phone calls is obviously illegal, but if you can't hear the other end of the phone call, is that actually illegal? Being polite usually works, yeah. But who wants to be polite? It's much more fun being a, being a, being a, being not so nice. Let's put it that way.
Immediately threaten to involve your lawyer. Yeah, I mean, that's that's not what I want to do. But yeah. Okay, let's play Bishop F4, guard the pawn. Um, yeah, this is getting really, really weird though in a hurry, which is kind of, it's, it's amusing. Okay, it goes rook d8. I mean, I can play h4, h5. I mean, bishop g5 is what I want to play. Knight c3 is also reasonable. I mean, I can also play like, I think I'm going to play h4. Because he's going to go knight f8, I assume. Or knight c5. I don't know which one he's going to do. Why do I seem way more concerned about this in the game? Because it's kind of important. I need to get my toilet fixed. Like, I'm getting a little bit sick of this. That's why it's more important. I mean, now do I have g4, g5 just to go all caveman on him? Whatever, let's just do it. I don't know if it's good, but I'm going to do it. He's going to play knight c5, and I think I go knight g3, but I'm not sure. Danny Rancho Botez wondering why Hikaru is talking while playing. Oh, so you're saying I should just get on the phone right now and start yelling on the phone? Um, I can play h5 and g5. g5 looks playable too. Um, um, g5, I mean, but please don't is what I'm being told. I'm being told that I really should not do that. How sad. Okay, I'll play h5. g5 is playable too, but h5 and g5 looks fine. Yeah, it's called now. Get on the phone and be like, yo, where's my money? Where's my money? Don't make me go all Stewie Griffin on you, right? That's that, That's what I should say. It's like, yeah, it's like, where's my money, man? I'm sure some of you know what I'm referring to. That's the Stewie, uh, the family guy, um, the family guy. <laughs> That's the family guy bit, you know, with uh, Stewie. I think it's Brian. Brian refuses to give him the money or something. Yeah, it's Stewie beating up Brian. Exactly. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I'm going to pre-move Rook D1. He won't do it, but it's still a, a good move. Um, but that's lovely. So basically I have to call and yell at them. I mean, but like, it's so, how do I know if they're delaying the claim? I guess is the question. That's the question that I need to actually, I need to know. Like, um, how do I know if they're delaying? Cause the, the, the field adjuster came on Thursday, Thursday evening, um, Friday, obviously is the toilet fixed. No, of course the toilet's not fixed because they're supposed to pay me. Aren't they? I thought that's what I was, what I was supposed to do is wait until until I get the adjustment or whatever, and then I do it. Okay, if it's more than a week, they're delaying. So, I mean, Friday was a weekday and I heard nothing. And today is Monday. So it's really only one weekday. I don't know if Saturday, Sunday count in that week, but um, I don't know. I mean, I can play G5 here and just go for, go, go all, all in. Let's see, I'm just gonna go all in, why not? Oh, should I just get it fixed? I mean, if I can just, if I should just get it fixed, then yeah. With, with how with how much Google says you're worth, just pay out of pocket, LOL. I, I mean, like I said, you guys, I actually, I have a lot of experience in, in all sorts of these stupid home, home things, but um, I've actually never had to do an insurance claim. So I'm a little bit in the dark here. Okay, now I can take with the bishop. If I take, he, I guess he's eh, F6. I, I mean, I, I think he's full of, Blogna, so I'm just gonna take with the knight. The music is too low now. Is the music good or is it too low? It's good, okay, coolio, cool. I mean, he can play F6, but it looks very sketch. Again, I'll pre-move rook D1. So okay, by what what time do I know that they're basically they're they're basically screwing around with me, you guys? Thank you, Bogle, or I think I missed that earlier. Thank you, Bogle three for the tier one. Thank you for the two month resub. Thank you so much. Um, okay, plays rook d five. I mean, I guess if I take, he's taking with a pawn. I mean, this looks very very suspect, honestly. 
Uh, I've bish -bashed. Okay, takes with the rook. Wow. And I don't have any good discoveries, apparently. Knight d2, bishop g5. c4 looks insane. Um, knight f7, king f7 doesn't look right. c4 actually looks quite reasonable, potentially. The issue for me here is that my pieces aren't really coordinating the way I would like them to coordinate. I can play c4 just to kick the rook away, but then I concede this d4 square that I don't really want to concede. I think I'm just going to play knight e4 to play h6 and really soften up this square around the king. My neighbor has a tree split his garage in half. It's been two to three months. I'm not given one dollar for it. Lovely. I also have knight c3 ideas to hit the rook and the pawn. Okay, I can, oh no, queen e3 hangs material. I can play queen c4, I can also just take. I mean, I assume I take and play c3 or something. I don't really have a good queen square, so I just take and play c3. Kick the rook, queen g4 is coming, rook e1 is coming. This looks very, very good for white. Um, his king is open. Use a 3 2 1 strategy, give him three business days, then two, and then one, and then go full aggro. Three, two, one. Okay, okay. So, so basically, yeah, so Friday is one. Okay, do I have queen g4 here? I mean, I can also play like king h2 and rook g1 maybe. Actually, I kind of like that. Let's make sure there are no tricks. Bishop g3 maybe. Queen g4, I mean, queen g4 is always interesting here. I think I'm just gonna go queen g4. Just go full, full, full on, knight f6 idea. Just tell them I'm famous. I mean, that's that's just not classy. I try not to do stupid stuff like that if I can. Again, I've got King H2 and Rook G1 coming. I think I'm definitely better here. Whether I can win this or not, we'll see. I think I think Black still can draw this with correct play, but um, but I like my position a lot here. Knight f6 is actually, knight f6 and h6 and bishop h6 are all very serious threats. I'm on Twitch, you should pay up. Yeah, I mean, that, that's always an idea. I'm sure that'll go over really well. Uh, I have bishop h6, I think. I mean, bishop h6 ties the queen to f8, but then I don't have a good continuation. I mean, I've got knight c5. If I play bishop h6, what's he do though? He has to go queen f8, because bishop f8, I have this like nasty stuff. So now I think I can just, um, he puts the queen on f8. So now I think I can play like rook e1 probably. Because now he has to go king h8. And now I gain a vital tempo when I go back to bishop f4 and g3, I think. Um... I don't know, f4, e3. I guess I just go to f4, so f5 I can just take. Again, there are issues on this long diagonal. Give a free sub to the insurance company guy, yeah, <laughs> right. Anyway, it's, I'm just trying to get ideas on, on what I should do, that's all. So three, two, one. So basically, I just need to be—I just need to be a be a jerk, essentially. I just need to be really nasty on the phone. Um, That—that's good, actually. That, that's good to know. That's good to know. Being nasty on the phone is something that I can definitely, definitely specialize in. Okay. Now do I have H six? Maybe H six, G six. So G6 knight, I mean, again, I feel like I should have something really good here. E3, rook D3, though. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go king H2 then. Oh, sometimes you need to be nasty? Trust me, I can be very nasty. I can be very nasty if I want to be. Okay, now if rook E3, what do you want? Oh, rook D3, I've got knight D6 or something? Oh, yeah, I've got, I've got a really nasty knight D6 idea now with, uh, oh, that's really nasty. Because now rook g3 is coming too. 
Yeah, now now it's bad for Black because Rook D3 runs into this amazing Knight D6 trick. I mean, I specialize in being nasty because I get a lot of spam calls, first of all, and then secondly, I get like I get these dumb calls where like, oh, you can lower your mortgage rate from like four and a quarter to like 3.75 or whatever it is. And it's like, dude, just get out of here. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I know how to be nasty to these these type of type of types of people when I when I want to be. Uh, it's just not fun to do it, but I'm, I'm, I'm very used to it. So it won't be a, it won't be an issue getting angry. I missed the sub. Uh, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Ali Reza, for the nine months. Ali Reza, fortunately, has never had to deal with anything of the sort, and he won't have to for at least five years. So he's very lucky to still be young and not have to deal with this kind of nonsense. Okay, and I have bishop e4, rook d2. I mean, rook f3. I mean, this looks so good for white somehow, but maybe I don't actually have a way to win. I mean, bishop e4 looks correct. But then rook d2, and do I really not have... I mean, I can just go rook e2... I don't want to go rookie two. Um, Bishop h7, king g. G3, rook b2. Hmm. Ah, rook e4, he's also got f5. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, but then I've got some bishop e5. Shoot. Um, whatever, I don't care. He plays. Wait, what? If I take and. Wait, what? I, I mean, rook d2 is what I expected. What is f5? Don't have queen e6? Queen e6, bishop d6 or something? Huh. I still don't... It doesn't make sense not to do this. I mean, he's going to go bishop d6, obviously. But I think I think I can take and go queen f5 for starters. Um, and what, like bishop d3, rook b2, or bishop c2? Queen f5 probably is good. Queen f5 is probably okay as well. Let's think about this for a second, though, because I'm, I'm way up on the clock, so there's no danger in terms of time. Um, queen f5 looks quite reasonable. Knight h5 takes takes knight h5, rook h3 looks good. If rook f7, I can just go bishop... No, if queen f5, rook f7, takes, takes, king g2, looks fine, so I'm just going to play queen f5. This should be very good for me, but I, he's still got rook d2, but again, it feels like there should be mating ideas here with this bad king, um, potentially. Although, actually, rook d2, bishop d6, he's got knight d5, then I have queen g5? Maybe. Or even just rook, no, just rook e8 and queen, yeah. It's not quite what I want, but it's probably still good for me. Also, rook d2, I, maybe I can just go h, ah, but h6, he wants queen d6, probably. Aha, uh -huh. queen d6, trade, cd6, and then it's then I have issues winning this, so. Um, king g2, maybe? And just chuck a pawn, perhaps? Yeah, I think I'm just going to chuck this pawn and play h6 and play for an attack, essentially. Oh, and I blundered knight d5. Oh, crud. Oh, shoot, I just blundered. Oh, shoot. <sighs> well, I do have rook e5, maybe? I mean, rookie five and. I mean, I've got. Oh, can he really get away with this? I didn't actually think he could. Oh, man, I still got. Oh, my gosh, so bad. If I check, check, and play rookie eight. Yeah, I mean, queen, king g2 is just a terrible move. I mean, just horrendous move. Threw it all away. Let's think, though. I still have more time. So if I can come up with some, this queen h5, though, there's always this queen h5 nonsense. 
Although I can maybe go king h4. Then he's got queen f6 check. Ugh. But I don't have anything better. Oh my gosh, I've wondered rook d3. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, yeah. F3, just rook F3, oh my gosh. Now he trades, which is actually kind of surprising. I mean, I'm not going to take a draw here, obviously. Of course, I should take with the queen. Why did I take with the pawn? Because now all end games are bad, actually, if I if he has an outside versus an inside. So I should take with the queen. Like, if he could get queen d6 and trade, he'd probably be winning because he's got the fixed structure and he's got an outside pawn. Queen f6 here does not win because I can trade and at least bring my king out and push to e5. Um, okay. So play e4 because, again, queen f6 I can just trade. Okay, let's see if I can somehow... Got to go for a swindle here somehow. Yeah. And king e3 has got queen b3 a here g5 a4 g4 a5 doesn't work. There's just no way to win this. I guess I can still go king f4 because it's an outside pawn. Okay, if I go king f4 or king d3, I guess. B5 king. Okay, now I think I should play C4 maybe, or king, I guess. I thought this was, wait, isn't this wrong? Wait. King e5, king e7, f6, takes, takes. Four takes, g3, c6, g2, c7. This might be winning now. Wait, whoa, what did he do? Oh, he messed this up. Very, very poor. Wow, very, very poor. Very, very poor, very, very poor. I should, first of all, go take like five shots of vodka because that's one of the worst. That's that, This game was much worse than the first game. Like the first game against uh, Andrew was bad just because I played like a clown, but this one was just really bad. So I got a great position, then I messed it all up. So, I mean, this was pathetic. This was like some seriously pathetic stuff. Um, whatever. The chess.com eval hated the pawn ending from both sides. Yeah, I figured. I was losing after King G5. Well, whatever. Life. That's life. We we both we both we both are terrible at chess. What else is new? Yeah, I mean this was significantly worse. This was like this was losing to Andrew was bad because I just played like a clown. But I mean he played good moves. He won the game. Big deal. This one like I got a good position and I just turned into complete disaster. Um, that was pathetic. Why take five shots when you're already playing drunk? Not That's not too far from the truth either. I mean, somewhere around here, I mean, it had to be very good, surely. Um, I mean, it had to be very good. Let's see. Um, where's my engine? Oh, whoops, sorry, wrong thing. There we go, evaluation lines, let's make sure. Okay, look, it's plus 1.4. I play king h2. Okay, this is fine. Bishop a8. Okay. Yeah, rook e3. It's still good. Oh, I am supposed to play rook e4. Wow. Okay, so rook e4, f5, and queen g6. And this is actually winning. Like, this I calculated. But this is a win? 
Oh, I am total trash. I had queen h6. Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. Oh, I'm trash. Oh, that's that's garbage. I, I stink. That's pathetic. Oh my gosh. That's ridiculous. I saw this whole line, but for some reason at the end, I didn't see that. I saw this whole line, and for some reason I thought that in this position after check, he just goes rook h7, takes, and like queen g7, queen g8, and it's a draw. But the frickin' rook is... Oh my gosh, that's disgusting. I'm terrible. I'm like the worst chess player of all time. That is pathetic. 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 Oh, good lord. And now it's probably still good, right? Stay positive, stay positive. Yeah, stay positive. And now it's like, what is it? It's like plus one with bishop d6. But I mean, again, like... No, I played queen f5. Oh, king... Wait, why is it saying it's plus one still? I'm confused. King g2, knight d5. Takes, takes. Rook f3, and this is still... Oh, really? h6 and he has nothing? Even despite the pin? Okay, how do I do this? Oh, I've... Oh, I've got c4. Wow. Wow, c4. Hmm. Wow. Anyway, let's go... Now let's go to the end game quickly. Let's see just how bad we both are. Okay, it says zeros. King e4. Okay, c4. Minus two. King g5. Game over. Minus six. Even better. Minus six. <laughs> okay, I'm pathetic. And king f4 is just a draw. But the thing was, I thought I was, I thought I was being smart, preventing him. But wait, why is this a draw? King e4, king g5. Okay, so this is a draw. Um. Okay, wait, so why then does this lose? No, this doesn't. Or no, this does. Ah, c5? Ah, so he wins because he gets this structure. But only c5 wins. Only c5 wins. Like, king g4, then I go f6, and this is actually still a draw. So it's not easy, and he didn't have much time. Okay, so here... Yeah, it's still a draw, but now black has to go passive with, like, king e7, king d7. And b5, c5, and now black's just lost. Okay. Yeah, not good. Not good. But it's still a win. Still a win. It's still a win, and it's actually a very important win, because it puts us up by one point now after two rounds, which is very important. The final position is winning because after... Um, uh, the final position is winning because after uh, king, king d8, just I just basically... We just do the staircase, and then he loses the pawn on b7. Okay, so now it's all good, because this makes up for round one at least. The result makes up for it, the play does not. But the play doesn't matter as long as you got to win. Have I considered sound isolation on the walls and such? This is just my house. I'm a very simple kind of guy. I don't, like, I don't spend $45 million on, like, uh, like on interior design. So, um, you know, it's, it, I, I don't go out of my way to do some crazy setup. It's not, not really necessary. You know, it's, it's like all these people. It's the same thing as, like, all these people who go and spend like five dollars at a Starbucks every day for like thirty years, like all these people who spend uh, who spend spend like five dollars every day at Starbucks for thirty years, like it's the same thing. It's just unnecessary. You don't have to spend millions on interior design. Like same thing, exact same thing, you guys. <laughs>